This just in, zombies are real, science has confirmed it, game over, good night, goodbye, segment over. Or not, actually, it's quite the opposite. Scientists believe that there may be a very deep, mysterious microbial world, 10 to 20 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface, which may be home to zombie microbes, which actually might hold the key to discovering how life was started on Earth. They're not exactly walkers, more like crawlers or whatever microbes do. A lack of food in the Stygian realm, named after the river Styx, you know, the Greek mythology, river of the dead filled with shambling corpses and a skeleton boat driver. Well, there's a lack of food there, so these microbes live so slowly they may as well be dead, or zombie microbes. Robert Hazen, head of the Deep Carbon Observatory, says, they grow and reproduce extremely slowly or perhaps even live without dividing for millions or to tens of millions of years. You have everything you need to make life, including energy, water, and carbon-rich molecules that could have made the underground zone, rather than the surface of the planet, the cradle of the very first life on Earth. So since the microbes can cling to life on rocks for tens of thousands of years, that leads credence to a theory that rocks from Mars may have seeded all life on Earth as that planet had water before ours did. It's possible that every single cell on Earth is descended from a Martian, and that's not crazy science fiction, Hazen said. So aside from understanding where we and all natural life on Earth come from, blah, 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 this study also raises questions as to whether our plans to bury nuclear waste and carbon dioxide from power plants deep underground is actually a good idea because it could become destabilized by these zombie microbes. Once again, leading to the theory that zombie apocalypse is now and real and coming. They're gonna kill us. <laughs>